Hello everyone and Trisha, it's me Jenny and it's time for another not naked video response to a Trisha Baker series Naked Truth where we talk as candidly and as truthfully as possible about the subject of her choosing, straight out the shower, no makeup, wet hair, first take, one take, so on so forth. Um, most people choose to do it naked, I choose not to, but either way it's above the neckline type thing. It's not meant to be sexy, it's meant to be a tool for the blogger to be vulnerable and honest. Um, and talking of honesty, uh, today's subject is big secrets and that sort of thing and Trisha has let it out to the cheers preggers um, and congratulations to you and Nate and little question baby of baby kind um, you look amazing by the way oh my gosh do you wear that bump well um, and I hope you're dealing with you know growing a little human inside you good job um, yeah like you've got the most beautiful bump ever it's just beautiful like you, you wear pregnancy very well, kudos. Um, congratulations. I'm sorry, rambling. I'm very tired. Because, um, like, my secret is a very new secret, and I can't really actually say it because I left what would let me know if I could say it at. Anyway, sorry, rambly. First take, one take, bloody blah, blah, blah. I'm very tired because I have just started a new job. Um, I finished my job, my previous job that I've had for four and a half years on Sunday and I started my new job on Monday so I've had two full days of my new job and I honestly don't know how much of it I can talk about because I left my handbook in my locker and it is a book because it is one of the most famous institutions in the world um, that I'm currently working at. Um, it is a very high prestige place of business and education um, that I'm currently employed by and I don't know if I can actually say whether or not I'm employed by them because I left the handbook at work. Um, but yes, I've been working there two days. Um, I am a very weird um, combination of exhausted and excited and nervous um, and a lot of the stuff I'm familiar with because it's the same field I've been in for the last four years and a lot of the stuff is brand new and very nerve-wracking um, and because it is such a well-known institution I'm very nervous about a lot of the aspects of it. Um, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of pressure, but again, it's you know everyone's human, so I'm learning. It's my second day, um, but yeah, and now I have to commute, which I've never had to do before because before I rolled out of bed, I could be at my other place of work within about two minutes, and now I have to get up at um, five thirty ish um, in order to bike, in order to bus, in order to get there on time uh, for seven a.m. So yeah. Um, and I've moved into a much higher position than I was before. I, I used to be in a kind of um, lower point in the management cycle and now I'm higher up so there's a lot more authority and a lot more power and stuff that I have to do so it's very high stress and I don't really know how I'm dealing with it yet because I've literally, I had no day off between finishing my old job and starting my new one so I really haven't compartmentalised the knowledge of it um, so obviously my friends and family know where I am working now and it's very exciting for them and like my uncle sent me um, a um, Kindle gift certificate as a congratulations gift um, and it was such a fast application process it was literally I had I applied and then a, like the application period ended two days later and they offered me an interview three days after that and then they offered me the job after the, the day after the interview and then I had five weeks of notice um, at my old job because it was four weeks but my manager begged me to stay and now I'm working at this new place um, so that is my big secret and I can't I don't know if I'm legally allowed or I probably am but I don't know for sure if I'm legally allowed to say where I'm working so I'm not going to but that's my big secret um, other than that I really I don't have any true secrets and pregnancy is a true secret before you are confirmed by your doctor to be pregnant but after that you know people do know when your partner knows and um you know your family know once you feel comfortable to say it once you're past the safe period to kind of announce it um and there there are very few true secrets in this world where it's just between you and yourself um, and I don't have any true secrets. My sisters know pretty much everything I need to know. Um, obviously there's legal secrets between your workplace and all those sort of things. Um, 
but you know, most of most of my big secrets I do hold close to my chest. I have shared with other people by and by. They're not real secrets. And if it's, you know, between me and a person I trust, I'll bring them up perfectly fine. There's nothing that's, you know, so close to the chest that I'll only tell, you know, my best friend for ten years. Um, I'm very, I'm bluntly honest to the point where a lot of people find it sometimes disconcerting where I'm like, well, this is a true fact. This is how I'm feeling. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um... I'm so tired. Um, it's a very stressful new place to be um, and I'm very excited and... <sighs> so sorry, this has this probably been the least coherent Naked Truth ever. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm a mess right now. Um, but at least I'm, I, I, I don't have the excuse of having a child growing inside of me, so yeah, if, if if having a child is half as stressed as I feel right now, then oh my gosh, Trisha, so much kudos. I'm like I'm so happy for you and I, I know I don't really know you, but I'm so happy for you and Nate. Um and so proud and so excited by by this little connection that we have. Um so yeah, congratulations and I truly understand, especially as a woman not me personally, but I can understand the pressures of a woman um, in the entertainment industry and the n the personal reasons for keeping the sort of thing private because of the health implications and the emotional implications if there is a problem with the pregnancy, but also from, like, it's a sad state of affairs that women have to be scared for their um, employment protection because of pregnancy. It's such a, a tragic thing and, you know, it's it's the nature of the modern... Um, you know, uh, climate that, uh, you know, the modern family is a very interesting place to be at at the moment because, you know, there is that fear of losing political momentum, not political, um, uh, momentum in your industry when you have a child, but you also don't want to not have a child because I know everyone, anyway, I'm so rambly, I'm so tired, blah, 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 I, yeah kudos for everything that you do, Trisha, and congratulations to you and Nate, and I hope little baby Hirschberger um, has a good little, just good luck, good luck and all of those things. I'm going to go turn off this camera because I've said goodbye like six times. Bye! <laughs>